international arrivals now have to quarantine when they arrive to the UK. I mean, it's only been like a year since the pandemic started. I'm not saying that Boris Johnson has been consistently late during this pandemic, but even black people look at him like, it's about bloody time. You gotta pay £1,750 to quarantine in a hotel for 10 days. £1,750, you know? Are the hotels made of diamond? If I'm paying that much money to stay in a hotel, I want gourmet meals for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I don't want a double room, I want a suite. I want the comfiest bathrobes and slippers. And you best believe I'm keeping that shit when I check out. I want free adult movies on the TV. I want the housekeeping staff to bathe me like I'm Eddie Murphy in Coming to America. The world penis is clean, Mr. Caton. And if you don't quarantine, you face a 500 pound fine. 1,750 pounds, 500 pounds. Hold on, let me double check on the calculator. <laughs> I spelled the word boobies, I couldn't help it. Do you get to choose what hotel you quarantine in? For £1,750, you should get to choose. Like, imagine paying £1,750 and then they put you in a travel lodge. A travel lodge! If they put you in a travel lodge, you've been overcharged by about £1,748. I've stayed in many travel lodges during my comedy career. Don't get me wrong, some travel lodges are cool. But some travel lodges, you'd rather just have the COVID. Trust me, some travel lodges, you're just staring at the bed like, please tell me that's soap. Imagine if you've never been to the UK before. You land at Heathrow and they put you in a hotel in nearby Slough. Slough. You'll be sat in your hotel room looking at the window like, is the UK a third world country? It's okay, I can make that joke. No one from Slough is going to see this. They haven't got the internet yet.